your girl Nisi here and I'm back with another video and today I've come to do a review on this wig and some hair stuff that I bought from Shein so if you want to see just keep on watching let's go quickly i'm just gonna put on the side about this wig so it's like a natural it's like a dark brown color um it's 180 density and i think i got this in 16 inch 
I have a 16 or 18 inches um, I'll try and include like photos and stuff when I was making it so the wick um, the wick hat that I sewn it on that's from Sheen and oh my gosh guys it's so good it literally fits so I've got a 22 head and it literally fits my head like perfectly it's one of the best like wig caps wig caps I've had and I really struggle to find really good ones these days so I'm definitely going to be buying more and I think the wig caps um, are 150 so I just buy loads of them and then it's added into my shopping and um, so for the hair it's okay I'll give it that the price is good um 180 it's not the best I don't think is it 180 or 150 I'll be back Okay, I'm back guys, see, I knew it. So the density is actually 150, because I was just like, 180 is actually good. Yeah, it's 150, that's the, like, that's what I don't really like about the hair, it's really thin. Um, it sheds, when I was making it, it shedded a lot, but once I'm wearing it, it doesn't shed that much when I'm brushing it out. As you see in the video, well, as you will see in the video, I'm gonna curl it and then obviously at the end I'll brush it out. It my much hair didn't come out, but making it, I don't know if it's close. When I make my wigs, I try and do the flip method. So, you know, obviously I'll be on it and then flip it instead of cutting it, but it was just shedding loads when I was making it. Um, what else? But yeah, the color's fine and the inches, you know, yeah, it matches up. Um, it's easy to style. I've been at work today with it, so obviously the curls have like dropped and stuff. But um, the curling tongue that I use is not the best, so I'm gonna order one from there. But yeah, it's okay. Um, I will buy, but I think, I don't know if it takes colour well, so I think I'd get another one and then dye it and see how that goes. I wanna make a bob, so I'll probably get like the shot. I think the shot is like they do 16 and then I wanna get it into a bob, which is annoying cause they should have 14 so I don't have to cut off so much hair or even a 12, but they don't. So yeah, so let's get into the products. So first of all, I've got two of these. These are sold out and I don't think they're getting them back in. I wouldn't mind another one, but this is where I keep all like my hair stuff in. So as you see me using in the video, so I've got my clips, my little crocodile clips here. I've got this brush from there. This brush is super cute. Let's see what else so I've got off on. They actually sell this, but I just got this from a normal hair shop. Oh, it's huge inside, it just holds so much. I don't think it's just anything in here that I've got from there. So I've got these like edge combs. I'll show you a picture, but it comes with edge combs. There's different types of like brushes and combs in here. Yeah, so here's the wig cap I was talking about. It's just nice and thick and oh, it just fits my head so well. I feel like when it came to the wig caps, I always struggled to find a good one, but this is for a 22 head. This feels so good. It's nice and thick, but breathable. Oh, I love it. And I put it on, it was just like, yes. So I literally, I think I bought about five of them to skip them as a bulk because I know I'll be making like multiple wigs. So I got this melting spray. I used this thinking it was, um, <laughs> thinking it was hair tin. So I sprayed it and then obviously it set and then I tried to take, later on I tried to take my wig off and it was stuck. <laughs> you know when you feel it setting, it was like setting like, I think I sprayed it rapid before, um, this is before I went on holiday because we were rushing. So I sprayed it rapid thinking that, you know, when it's just like the lace is so and so, what I did to like tint it sprayed it rapid went to the airport and then it was just getting harder and harder you know when it's time to search at the airport and i'm just like and then thought about the bottle and it's like it didn't say hair tin it said melting spray <laughs> this is really good like it sets the wig to your to your forehead so quick it's really good so on the side here i've just got like my hair dyes Just got them for the normal hair shop but it's just got so much storage and i keep some stuff in the back there like elastic bands and bubbles and then here's another melting spray not use this one yeah and um, i don't really like this one it's tiny compared to that 
I bought this one first, obviously, because if I bought this, I wouldn't have bought that. But this is really good. I'm not sure I've not used this one yet, but this is sick. So that's what I mean. I just put them, keep them in the bag. And then got this little pill kind of style one here. And this is where I keep my proof mats from my beauty tools. And here's just a quick look up. <laughs> Okay, so for my other bag, I keep all the like hair tools in here. So you know, straight in there. So I've got another one of these. So I've got this hot comb. I bought this hot comb from there. This is, it's okay. It's got different free settings. Starts at 1.6 and goes to 200. It's okay. Uh, this was like eight pound. It does the job, it's all right. Um, I've got this when you're doing baby hair. It's got this little oh, curler to curl the baby hairs. Yeah, this is okay as well. This is I got this recently. This is like a diffuser. I've just washed um, one of my wigs, so I'll probably try this. As you can see, it's still wrapped up. I've not used it yet. Well, hopefully it works well. As you can see, it's just got loads of storage. So I've got a hair dryer in there. I've got a one stick. I've got straight in it, and I've got crimpers. All right, the storage in here is really good. See if I've got anything different. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's another part here as well. Not used it yet, but the storage just goes on. And the bag was only like, I'll double check, but I feel like it was only like twelve pounds. I was just like, I need to get two of these. So in this one, I've just got some beads. And just little clips and bubbles once again. It does need organising. So because as you can see, I've got not got any like combs, so I need to like organise. I've got some combs, combs in here. But I've also got one of those racks for when like you're braiding hair. But I'll put a picture on the side. But I've got a rack from there. I've got two of those. So obviously, when I'm braiding hair, sometimes I'm using different colours. I'm trying to think what else I've got from there, but oh yeah, and I've got like wig heads from there. They're really good. Um, I've been obviously before I bought it, I've been reading people's review and some people theirs are smashed and things like that. But no, mine, mine were fine. Um, I used to get all my hair stuff from AliExpress or sometimes eBay, but again, like with AliExpress, the shipping will take so long. Although you've got to pay for tax or pay for shipping, but literally now Sheen's just come and took over for me anyway, and I've not bought off. I've probably not bought off AliExpress probably in a year and that was to get like an afro wig but since then literally everything's just been on there like it's my new spot and yeah I like it okay guys so that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed it please like comment subscribe and share and until next time mwah, bye